Improving the flow of documents into your organization is an important and cost-saving step. In this video, we will look at how document classification can accelerate the flow of your documents into intelligently named and properly stored files. Okay, let's create a new uh, classification training set. So we'll load a document that has uh, a variety of invoices that we want to train into the system. And as it loads them, it's going to try to match up. And obviously, there's nothing in our, our database. So we're going to go in and create a new document type on this first page. And then now that is in the system. And then now we can navigate through our document. And obviously, this similar invoice got recognized popular. So, so we go to the third page. We have a new one. So I'm going to create another document type called air gas. Again, another one called Pacific Bio. And another one called Acme. So now that we uh, have some data in the system, it should begin to start finding the proper one. So this next page is an air gas so we just add this page into the training set and the number of samples we can see increases in our training set again I found another air gas so we'll add this one go to our next one and it's a Merrill add that to Merrill this is a new one so we'll create one called Darley Another Acme, so we'll add that page. Another Acme. And we're probably going to want anywhere from three to five, uh, but we're just going to do a few. We've got a new landscaping invoice. Another Darley, so we'll add it to Darley. Again, increasing our, our recognition accuracy by having more. Add that to landscaping. I believe this is a new one, mobile communications. So that is in there. New waste management. Another mobile, but it uh, has a low proximity, so it has a couple of close hits, including mobile. And you can see the percentages in each one of the document types. So we'll add that to mobile by selecting the mobile document tree. We have another landscaping. We'll add that to landscaping. Another waste management, we'll add that to waste management, and finally another waste management. Oops, we're going to add it to waste management. And we have finished our training. Now let's see what happens when we open a, another broader population. I think this is a, approximately a 45 page document. So we're going to load uh, everything and tell the system to go classify all pages. And it's going to go through every page and try to assign it to a document type that we have already trained the system on. So now our tree has some subnodes, and we can start taking a look at each of our training sets and review the documents. Within the documents is the percentage of the uh, score. Uh, and if it thinks it's a suspect page, we'll get a little marker. And this particular page is actually a new document type called whole glass. So I'm going to create another invoice document type called whole glass. So we'll close that out and let's go take a look at some of the other ones. Landscaping, again, this one is a suspect. It's also a whole glass. So we're going to go and select that new item and add that page to it. And on we go. So here's another whole glass. So we'll select it, add that page. Uh, and now we can rerun the classification now that we have added uh, a new document type for an invoice that uh, snuck in on our last scan. So now we can see how our classifications have worked out, see if we have any more suspects before moving on to a, a bigger population. So it looks 
pretty good. And here we have one that looks like a suspect. So we can see it has a decent score, but its uh, proximity is pretty close to something else. So again, we just continue the process to, until we get enough training documents into each of our classes.